This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to see the other side of the coin. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume are here with the the second part of Resident Evil, or sorry, Resident Evil 2. Last time I played this, we played the Leon path, and now after some time, it's time to tr find out what happened to Claire during the whole time, during the whole Resident Evil 2 situation. Now, unfortunately, when I played the original game, we, we played the original original Resident Evil 2 non-Dual Shock Edition, but unfortunately, my old copy of the game gave up the ghost, and it's too scratched up now for the purposes of recording because sometimes lines will disappear. Finding foes is not the only way. Yeah, if you leave it on the screen for a little bit uh, to survive this horror, if you leave it on the screen for a bit, it shows some of the beginning trials and how it plays and stuff like that. But, yeah, unfortunately, it, it I can still technically play it, but because, like, in certain... Well, technically, it's only the Leon disc or whatever, but... Yeah, unfortunately, because of playing them all those years ago, the game got scratched up, and now I can't play the original copy without worrying about editing issues. So, and unfortunately, yeah, it took me a second to get there. So, what's different on the DualShock version is you still get the original game. However, like in Resident Evil Code, uh, sorry, Code Veronica, Resident Evil Director's Cut, you get the arranged version, which is um, the game is. Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, some of the stuff has been moved around. Uh, monster placements a little bit different monsters are a little bit beefier stuff like that so it's kind of similar to that um, there might be some other differences like costumes and stuff like that but the big thing is is like how the game plays so it's different from the original game just enough to where you you know it's the same thing you not going through the whole game with knife and stuff like that I don't think there's really much I have to do with the option menu yeah we can just leave it on as is so I'll talk more about the game and what it can do but uh, there are going to be some lengthy stuff here so what we're doing is that if you play this game and start the original game off on this disc, then it'll start Claire's A path. But if you want to do her B path, you have to load a save from the previous game. Ah, gotta love the, the voices they use. Um, so all you have to do is just pull up the save, and yeah, on the DualShock version, you can now choose between the range data or the original data. So we're going to just choose original to stick with the other playthrough or whatever. And as you see there, there's Claire B, zero save, scenario two there. So... Um, yeah, let's find out what happened to uh, Claire after the original game and see what she got into after she got separated from Leon and basically separated till the very end of the game. In the midst of the T-virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-Virus. However... Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own, she came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City.
finally here. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. I'll meet you there. Okay. At the same time, at the same place, you have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. Yeah, it's basically saying, hey, let's play play both sides to find out what's happening. So luckily for Claire, she almost pops up almost immediately next to the uh, police station. Yeah, don't find any of these guys because we'll never come back here. So save your ammo. And as far as I'm aware, there's no like hidden uh, ammo or something like that around. So and we are still playing normal mode. So things take a few more hits than before. So all right, let's head this way. Yeah, see, we're already at the station. So good for us. So let's head back here. We need to grab something. There's a key. Yeah, let's grab the cabin key, and then let's run away. No no reason to stay put, so i got to be careful. Luckily, the guys are spaced just enough I can run past them. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the thing. For, by the way, for people who are watching this, um, it is assumed you already watched the Leon A thing, or at least you're aware enough of the story, so I might talk about spoiler stuff and, and all that, so be aware of that. So let's check, uh, let's check the gun uh, that we've got here. So the uh, gun in the compartment was the Browning HP, manufactured by by FN Belgium. Uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Hmm. How about the knife we got? A combat knife. It could come in handy someday. Oh wait, that's a different thing. And we got the cabin key. What is that? I can access the cabin in the rear with this. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, we're playing as Claire, Claire Redfield, the sister, uh, I think younger sister, of Chris Redfield from the first game. So it's nice that, that apparently this runs in the family. And one thing about Claire is that uh, I think stat-wise she's similar. To, I think Leon could take a few more hits than Claire, um, but not by much, if I recall. Uh, uh, the comparability is supposed to be similar to Chris and Jill from the first game. Same kind of thing. Claire can't take as many hits than he can, but uh, than Le Leon can. But uh, it's not detrimental. One thing that Claire has that Leon didn't. Uh, Leon had the lighter. In this case, we have a lock pick. So Claire in this game is the master of unlocking. So all those places that required small keys in the first game, we don't have to carry those around anymore. We have the lock pick. We can immediately lock pick all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about it. So a lock pick, I can unlock the simple locks with this. Also, Claire has a different weapon setup than um, Leon does. Leon gets like, uh, I mean, he has like the shotgun and the, his gun and the magnum. Oh yeah, we can discard this. Um, but Claire doesn't get that. She gets the uh, grenade launcher. That's her weapon. Kind of similar to um, Jill from uh, Resident Evil. Jill and Chris have like different layouts than that. But yeah, rem remember where those who played uh, Resident Evil, yeah, we find ourselves in um, the back end of the place where uh, yeah, Leon barely went to this place the first time he was in this place, so. All right, let's grab the, well, we don't technically need a lot of ink ribbons, but I'm grabbing them anyway. And let's grab some h gun bullets. Now, yeah, remember last time we were here? Oh yeah, there's a, I don't know. There's like a little lady there for uh, some lonely police officer, or actually those are construction elements. I'm not sure this is supposed to be like a power setting, but anyway, remember what happened to Leon last time he opened the door? Let's try to go back outside, shall we? Let's see if we can, uh, uh, what's going on here? Oh God! No! Run! Yeah, they just they just cut kind of go in there. So don't kill them. We're we're never gonna come back here ever again. There's actually a story bit that re prevents us from coming back here. So um, just ignore them. Try to try to save your ammo. So luckily the beginning parts. Yeah, Claire gets. Well, I guess if you're playing Claire A, it might be differently. But let's see if we can avoid them all. Oh, oh, master tank skills. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. But yeah, didn't we go up here and there was a car helicopter crashed here? <laughs> hey! Get over here! Hurry! I can't sit her down! I'll drop you a rope ladder! Grab onto it! Come on! Just a little more! Uh, yeah. ah. Get off me! <laughs> Stay back! Christ. All right. Well, well there that, there you go, folks. That's how the helicopter crashed there. Luckily, the guy didn't have to, wasn't alive long enough to turn. So there's that. So, but yeah, that's how it occurs here. Now, obviously, there's going to be some uh, yeah, water pressure valve. It reads, excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. Now, there is going to be some continuity issues with the game, with the way it's presented. Like, how some things like, like, we have to put out this fire. Well, actually, we don't technically have to put out the fire bar we're going to for an item. But... You know, how's that work when Leon turned it off in his game? So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that guy. And why didn't the guy shoot for the head? He had plenty of bullets. He was machine gun, you know, for, for goodness sakes. But I guess that's the difference between being panicked and stuff like that. But anyway, let's grab a green herb here. Oh, remember this hallway? Oh, uh, yes. What'll pop out in this hallway, I wonder? I love all the glass sounds when you walk. Oh, and I love uh, Claire's uh, biker outfit. Um, it's actually, oh, there's the crows. This guy's been pecked to death. And if we let the crows attack us, yeah, they'll peck us. So let's get out here. Oh, yeah, we unlocked the door there. Um, yeah, I love her outf biker outfit. It's actually a remnant of the, I don't know if I ever talked about this in the previous playthrough of the game uh, with Leon A, but this is, Claire's outfit is based off a character that was going to be in Resident Evil 2, but they decided to make it a character related to someone from the first game. I forgot what her name was, but she wore a racing um, outfit. And uh, this is kind of a culmination of what that was. You can find some demos of the original game uh, online. Uh, 
I think you can even find it downloadable somewhere if you want to try out the original design for Leon and uh God, I forgot what her name was. I'll have to look it up between episodes. But anyway, we got some green herbs down here, so let's go in here. And uh yeah, I just like her like her outfit, you know. Tells her that she tells that she's related to Chris in some way, but she's got her own style. Um, and in this game, there is a way to get unlockable outfits, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you know, it's like a heart key somewhere to uh, Chris uh, or Leon's playthrough. So now uh, let's grab the obvious handle in the background there. What's wrong with that? And uh, to be careful, I am growing a bit, a few things. I probably want to. I might have to. I probably should go ahead and kill these guys because I will have to go through this hallway a few times. Oh yeah, there's the dead guy there. He's just gonna. We can leave him alone. He'll never crawl after us. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I think there's a ink ribbon too on one of these stairs. I just have to be kind of careful. I do want to get into that room as well. Okay, let's see if we can get around these. I'm trying to keep my ammo used to a minimum. Actually, I probably don't want to go this way yet anyway, but I want to show where this goes off to, so. Uh-oh. Yeah, we don't want to go that way yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, best to go in from a different door so we have a better standpoint. Yeah, just, whoop, whoa. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, whew. Okay, good. Got away from him. Let me reset the room really quick so I can, uh, yeah, I'll probably go in and kill those guys just because... At least I want to kill a couple of them, because I do want to go in that room with a safe. Um, like I said, this is based off memory from me playing this before, so if you're playing this brand new, um, you'll probably be playing Claire's A-Path, and you probably want to watch Leon's Leon's A-Path to get something similar. Obviously, there are some different story beats for Cl uh, Claire as opposed to Leon, because of the character she runs across, but... guy's gonna get up here in a second so yeah I didn't want to waste too many bullets on these guys but they're all I want to at least kill these guys these two the other one will take too long to get to me anyway so and I know I'm trying to be a bit more efficient in this one uh, run through than I was with uh, with Leon now that I know better but I still gotta slow down in a couple of places because like I said this still is original mode which means the enemies are a bit beefier than easy mode so I had to be kind of careful there um, I do want to kill this guy because of whoa now dang I got a free shot at me oh well um, yeah you can if you don't mind taking the hit you can take get a, a couple free free shots there let me Go to safe here. Now you're probably wondering, what is the key, uh, a numerical keypad, first digit? It's actually similar to the um, first game. So if you remember the combination from the first game, you can just type it in now. Oh, it was a. Uh, oh, maybe it was two two three six. Hold on. There we go. I almost forgot. Okay, and we can take the acid rounds. I think I'm gonna I'm trying to remember if I want to keep them on me. I think I. Well, hold on. I'll hold off on them. Uh, yeah, we want to take the map for sure. And let me grab what's behind here first. It's an herb, so I want to merge these two together. And then, then I'll grab the ammo. There is a safe, there is a safe not too, there's a um, safe not too far away, but I'm trying to be a bit more efficient with my moving stuff around and everything like that, so. And some decisions that you made in the Leon path will slightly change um, some things in this game as well. Not too many though. It's not such a big difference to like have to replay the game just to show off the differences. But Alright, so the big thing is... Oh wait, no, I think I'm missing an item as well. Well, I think I'll go... Yeah, there is a there's a key card I want to grab too in there and I, I may have to grab that other... I wonder if I'm going to have enough ammo though. Okay, well, let's go to the same spot, uh, or the safe. I was going to skip it, but I kind of want to drop this stuff off. And, uh, although it's going to spoil a, 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 a creature surprise this early. I don't know if you heard that, folks, but, uh, I'll show off the official way you're supposed to be at the first time, if you play things properly. Let me see, uh, let's go to the safe room. I love the safe room music. So let's, uh, drop off these. Oh, and there is a pleasant surprise in this place for us as well. Uh, we have inside the infinite rocket launcher. Now, why do I have this in my inventory? Well, if you beat Leon's Kennedy story within um, 
two and a half hours uh, to three hours, you unlock uh, the infinite rocket launcher. Now, if you do use this, your points do decrease. So if you're trying to go for like an A rank um, in both paths, don't use the rocket launcher. But if you want to just go through and kill everything all willy nilly, go right ahead. But I'm going to hold off on that for now. Oh yeah, I want to grab the, the ammo there. I'll read the little notes here here in a second, but I want to have as I want to have as much ammo as I can for what's up ahead if I can do it. Um, I might be able to, which mean, but it'll mean I'll, I'll use like a good deal of ammo. But, uh, yeah, we're, we'll talk about that guy here in a second. <laughs> oh man, creepiness. Okay, but yeah, there's a there's a. Well, actually, was there? Oh, maybe it was just the. Uh, uh, no, I think there is a key card I can grab as well. Oh wait, no, that's in a different room. I'm 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 good to go. Never mind. <laughs> I compl I'm, I'm trying to remember my notes here, and I'm like, no, uh, I can go on to back to... I didn't even have to go in the save room. Well, spoil that surprise, I guess, but anyway, let's go back through the crows. Let's ignore them. Never waste bullets on crows. You could, even if you get packed, you could just you know, run past them, so... All right, let's go back and uh, put out the helicopter. You could actually completely ignore the helicopter. Oh, wait, no. Never mind, you do need to. Blah. Sorry, I'm mixing up for different games and stuff like that different playthroughs so let's combine these we need to combine these together for sure all right let's use the water handle and uh clean this stuff off here or clean this fire and everything like that there's probably some obvious reasons why i like claire's viking outfit as well there's two good reasons but uh, i won't say them in proper company no um but yeah, like the last game, yeah, we keep this because we need this for like one other thing, I think, if I remember. But uh, we could ignore the helicopter. However, if we check inside, we get some more acid rounds. Nice. So whenever we get the grenade launcher, which I think I should be get get it by today. Yes, folks, we're at it. This is for those who play the B path. They have their own problems to deal with, and uh, you'll find out here in a second who that mysterious man is. Oh man! Although if you play the uh, remake, <laughs> this guy is everywhere, no matter who you play. But uh, for those who play the B path, they have their own problems. And ah, nuts, closed in on us. So yeah, now we can't go back the way we can't go back the way we came so hopefully you grabbed everything you wanted to there because no going back so hmm, what's that noise oh god kill him actually it's probably better to run from this guy actually back up. he does a decent amount of damage so he'll probably end up wasting all my bullets now this guy you probably should completely run away from this guy because it's probably not worth it um, but this man is mr. X he will be a pain in our ass for the rest of the B campaign. Oh god, he's got, he's too beefy. He's easier to fight in the uh, Resident Evil Survivor games. Oh yeah, I, I, I think by the time we've recorded this, I'm already, uh oh, uh, let's see if we can survive a punch. Oh god, Whew. Okay, well, I can take a punch. God, I forgot how many bullets this guy takes. Oh yeah, and he goes faster too, whoops. Crap. <laughs> I was running to run away, but because of the tank controls, I couldn't tell which which way I'm which way I'm aiming. So I have to like I can only run far away enough away so I can actually notice him. He's already done a decent amount of damage to me, so I know you you can kill this guy. Oh thank God we did it. Whew. Too bad I took two punches. I'm still got a decent amount of health, so I guess I can't complain. Uh, okay. Whoops. I keep wanting to check. So every time we beat Mr. X. Um, you actually get an item drop from him. Uh, usually it's ammo of some sort. So in this case, we get 30 ammo. So it kind of makes up for it because it took me less ammo to kill him, but not by much. So, But yeah, Mr. X is dead. No more problems. We're never going to have to fight him for the rest of this game. Nope. Mm -mm.
dang it <laughs> yeah he survives so yeah every time you hear that like those walk those footsteps it's gonna be mr mr x there but uh hmm, wasn't there a thing in this hallway here oh it's gone oh good now we don't have to fight it what's this no nothing okay yep there's the helicopter there the door is broken i can't go any further there's no choice but to take out the wait what does it say take out the wall what Door's broken. I can't go any further. There's no choice but to take out the wall. What? Take it out? Take it out to dinner or something like that? That sounded like a stock scream. Yeah, pretty much. It's one of those generic stock female screams or whatever, but eh. What do I know? But, yeah, I'm surprised I'm not in caution mode yet. I guess I guess uh, we can survive a few more hits than I realized. Anyway, if we check the base here, we get an ink ribbon. So we'll grab that. And then I think... There's only one other thing I think that I can grab here. I think it's one of the shelves. Yeah, and in Leon's campaign, we had to find two gems to go through, but I believe Claire doesn't have to do that. An armor stone statue. The stand reads, Tyrannus the Brave revives with two lights. Hmm. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? And then side. I know what I'm supposed to grab. I was just trying to... S I could have swore there was ammo in here, too. But anyway, let's grab what we really came in here for, the blue key card. Let's see what that says. All right, let's check that out. A plastic card. It reads Hall Electronics Lock. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to check the handle. I can open and close the valves with these. Let's check the um, grenade launcher. Grenade acid rounds for the M79 grenade launcher. And finally, the ink ribbon. I can type in my progress with this. And the bullets. 9 by uh, nine by 19 parallel rounds that can be used for either the HK VP70 or the Browning HP. I think the HK is Leon's pistol. I believe. Anyway, let's uh, let's head on out of here. Nothing I have to worry about here. Oh God! It's a liquor. Yeah, this is how you're. I guess technically this is how you're supposed to be introduced to the first time. And let's not fight him. Yeah, we'll never have to come back in this room. Oh, actually, no. I, I think we do actually. Well, let's just leave it alone. We can kill it later. It's better just to run anyway. So I guess the liquor. God, those guys just are bullet sponges. So anyway, let's go in here proper. Yeah, that's a, that's how you're. I think how you're technically supposed to fight them sooner because in X, when you clear the hallway of the fire, um, and Mr. X's introduction, it makes it disappear, and then it pops up in there in the ceiling. So that's the better first introduction. That's why I didn't want to talk about. It. Yeah, liquors are the 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 horror brother of the hunters from the first game. So, Secretary Diary A. April 16th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important that maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 17th, I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth thousands of, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. Eh, yeah, well, I know, but... May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a new person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. You should look at modern art. God. Like, modern art is terrible. And art is only as interesting or as, um, not interesting, um, Oh, it all, its value is only based on what people believe its value to be. That's all it is. Magazine rack. None of these books look useful. So anyway, let's dump some of the stuff. We're going to leave the er, max herb in our inventory, obviously. We won't need the valve for a while, so I'm going to hold that. Same with the acid rounds. Although we will get the grenade launcher not too far off. And we can drop off the ink ribbon. And yeah, with the knife, I'm not going to do it like with Leon's place and try to like knife everything. No, I'm just going to shoot stuff or run away from it. No, no running around forever trying to kill stuff with a knife. Nope. I'm not playing Ghosts and Goblins here, where you need the knife, no. In this case, don't get the knife, don't get the knife, don't get the knife. Unless you're doing a knife run, then then get the knife. All right, anyway, yeah, we're back on the second floor here. We're finally in the uh, main area. It took Leon a little, well, not a little, it took him a bit to get to here, but uh, yeah, same uh, shortcut here. Dark Souls style, but before Dark Souls. Although, technically, didn't Kingsfield come out before this game? So, and I think Kingsfield has shortcuts like this. So that technically went first, even though when I first played the game, I made fun of it. So, all right, we want to, yeah, we're going to have to kill. There's like four zombies this way or something like that. And I have to, I pretty much have to kill them all, even if I'm not going to go down this hallway regularly. So, oh, yeah, you're up. There you go. He's bleeding. Maybe because there's something down that way I want to get. So I guess luckily for Mr. X, Mr. X giving me all that 
ammo. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the same ammo every time or if it's based off how you killed him. Um, I don't know the algorithm. Oh, oh got too close. Dang it! I knew he wasn't dead, but how's my life? Oh, I'm still at five. Huh? I should be at. I would think I'd be a caution for. Let's see. I took a bite, and then I got punched by Mr. X twice. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I'm just lucky on the health thing this time. I should have killed you, I think, because of the sound it made. Oh, come on! <laughs> How's my life? Oh, still at fine, huh? Maybe Claire's more durable than I realized. Will you take the unicorn medal? Yes, I will. Alright, let's check. Let's check this. Something is engraved on the back. Please guide me to the beautiful maiden who turned into the stone as she waited for me. I know, I know where that is. Well, we all know where that is, but... Oh, we, this is locked. It's electronic lock. The door leads Liberty, which is, uh, huh. I wonder if uh, that statue that the person... Well, if you played the first game, you know clearly where the unicorn medal goes, So, which is this lady right here. And finally, after the first episode, we find ourselves in the, in the main area, although we've made some major progress. In... <gasps> yes, we get the grenade launcher here. Oh, yes. It's basically Claire's best weapon in the whole game, so... We'll, I'll try to utilize that better than I did when I played as Leon with his weapons and stuff like that. So, in the shotgun and everything like that. So, looks like we find ourselves in the middle here, and Claire's journey is just beginning. Will she find out? Uh, will she find out where that screen came from? Will she run into Leon? And what other creatures will find? Or will we find ourselves in in this crazy police academy? And can we get a new outfit? Find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.